This is one of the other things that had to go together was this indexing unit. So as the shaper, as the ram cycles, this arm here is on an eccentric system and you can adjust the stroke. I had to make um, a couple of bushings in there and some things that are missing and this will index left or right. So right now it's in the neutral position so the cross feed for the table is not cycling. You can hear it ratcheting. And we can match it the opposite way. And unfortunately, this is uh, this is all I've got for the vise. And uh, luckily, a, a friend of mine has uh, loaned me his, so I can understand. Uh, I'm just basically. Um, dimensioning the pieces and getting stuff organized, getting ready to uh, make the parts to finish up this vise. These are the um, stu the T-bolts for the uh, Atlas Shaper in the table. Borrowed these from a friend of mine that has a shaper. And um, I guess there's two ways you could you can make these, you can start with square stock and turn this down or you can start with uh, round stock which I had and I'm going to turn this and then I'm going to leave a section in the middle and what I'm using is I'm using, I've already got them face to length and what I'm using is I'm using the speed chuck here call it and I got to stop in there so that I can work both sides on multiple pieces try and save some machining time or setup time for me um, so like I say I got uh, I got some blanks made up they're all face to length so we're going to start turning and uh, we'll turn both ends and thread them and then uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to put the flats on um, I think I'm going to do it after I get after I get it turned, so I can grab it and uh, maybe in a 5C call it. That's the plan. This is a high-speed uh, tool bit that I use just to rough. So this is three-quarter right now. I'm going to take this down to three-eighths at uh, one inch one hundred. Basically, we gotta go that far. Turn that diameter down. We got a uh, dial stop on the uh, an indicator on the uh, carriage travel here, so we know right there that's going to be our finish point. And then we're just over 750. We want to go down to 375, so we're going to take uh, um, 375 off that diameter. And we're going to run uh, 250. Try it there, see what we get. First cut looked pretty good. It was uh, 25 foul aside. This one's going to be uh, 40 aside.
And then I'm, uh, I'm actually not going to take that down to the uh, proper diameter. I'm going to leave a little bit of stock to run a finishing tool in there. Step is now you get the five five pieces. I'm going to make ten nuts or ten ten uh, ten of the bolts. So we've got this roughed in on uh, five sides, and this is running uh, four sixteen, and we want three seventy five. side. So I'm going to come in, zero off on it, and uh, try uh, two passes on that. as I hit, I took the extra five off and cleaned that face off there, so it should be 375. Uh, it says it's about one big.
shank on these ones is uh, at 375 and in the T slots in the table sometimes there's some tight spots and uh, there's no I don't think there's any real reason for them to be uh, to size um, they're not really locating the devices located with a t with a keyway so I'm just going to relieve that about uh, I think somewhere around 20 thou, just so they're nice and easy to get in and out of the T-slot. So i just got a parting tool here set up. So I'm going to plunge in um, 10 thou and then take it back to this face. Actually, on second thought, I'm going to I'm going to plunge in a little deeper there just for a thread release for when we're threading as well. And then back it out and take the clearance. So at this point I've got uh, four of them done, both sides machine and uh, four of the pieces, which is going to give us eight nut or eight bolts. Um, we've got threaded on either side. So what I've been doing, I'm just using the collet chuck here. Compound at uh, 30. Coming in, and we got a. I didn't quite get enough thread relief on the back, so I'm taking a little bit more out of that. That's my uh, first step there. and the compound and uh, what I like with the VFD is I can leave it leave the half nut engaged and uh, let's uh, just do a scratch pass
it's at 35 already. I'm going to do a spring pass now. I'm not going to uh, do anything with the compound. I'm just going to file that just a bit. Flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. 